good morning. I'm quarantined. I'm sitting at home a lot and I'm really bored. So I decided I'm gonna show you guys how to teach your dog how to jump. And um, some dogs just don't like to do it. So if your dog doesn't like to do it, don't make them do it. But if your dog does like to do it, like my dog, I mean, you should be good. I'm gonna do that. All right, so first things first, you don't need actual jumps like I have. Um, I'm just crazy and we purchased actual jumps for my dog. I even have other standards right here. But we're just gonna be doing, for training or showing you how to do this, we're gonna have this actually set up really low. So this is the jump we're gonna be using today. I got these off Etsy. So, I mean, you guys can go to Etsy if you want to get your jumps. Um, I found that these, though, are really light and they work really well for the dogs. Dogs um, are not horses. And if they kick those thick poles, um, it probably would hurt their feet a lot. I've got the jump set up. This is how big it is. I'm gonna do multiple angles, but this this is super tiny. I'm gonna show you guys. I'm 5'4". This is the jump on me. So, it's really easy. Um, also, I found if you do ground poles to teach your dog how to jump, they don't like care to go over them. So first thing you're gonna wanna do for the dog, you kind of need them. Um, and some toys. Or treats. My dog is very toy motivated and treat motivated, but mostly toys. He goes kind of crazy over them because you can take the toy down. Stay. You need to train your dog. You need to teach him basic commands like sit and down. Um, and make sure he actually kind of respects you because if he doesn't, he won't listen to you. So, I do is I lead him over. He knows how to jump, so he's going to do what he's But I will lead him over. And then give him breaks. His dogs respond very well to positive reinforcement over negative reinforcement. And then you can start adding. You can start adding things. What you want to do. So I really like the jolly ball because it has a rope and I can lead him with it so he doesn't bite my hand. I do not recommend jumping your dog above that part of their arm because it is not good for their joints, especially if they are young. And he's good boy. He's staying right now. First thing you want to do is lead him over the jump. And once your dog starts getting more comfortable with that, you can start giving him commands for it while leading him over it. So he can associate the command with going over the jump. So, yeah. And you can tell he's very excited. He hasn't been played with yet today. That may have not been a good decision. So I'm going to lead him over again. And you can use, you can use any command you'd like. It did not take me long to teach him how to do this. I do recommend not jumping your dogs when they're puppies, puppy, puppy, puppies, like 10 weeks old puppies. But Abel um, has been jumping since he was a puppy, but not a baby puppy. Also, he's been doing this since, like, that's about has, how big he's been jumping. All right, so we're going to have him go over it again. I'll lead him to it. If your dog doesn't do what you want him to do, don't scold him. Just keep working until you get what you want because they respond very well to positive reinforcement. Hi, Stinky. This is my other dog, Lucy. She doesn't like to jump, so I don't jump her. Once you've established the leading and the command that you want to teach your dog, once your dog is really comfortable with it like Abel is, you can start just staying in a place far away from the pool and telling him go or uh, jump or whatever you want to teach him. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is get a toy. Abel has hidden all of his around the yard. And you're going to want to stand a few feet away from the jump and tell him your command. And if your dog responds to that, good. Give them positive reinforcement, pet them, give them everything. And if they don't, go back to square one, guide them over the jump, show them what they're supposed to be doing. Go. Good boy. And, that, and you saw he gets very excited about jumping. He really likes it, so I make it part of his daily thing. He likes it a lot more than fetch. A few more times, watch your dog get more comfortable, get more used to jumping. Good boy. 
And once your horse, your horse, once your dog gets more comfortable with that, you can start moving the jump up. I already got jump a little higher than this. And you see where this is on me? This is like not even my knee. So, um, I do not jump him higher than this unless he is being very, very good. And I want to test him a little. Everything. Go. Good boy. Where are you going? Dad, go to the camera. Right, so um, we're just gonna keep it at that height for now. You don't, it's the same deal as you go up farther and farther. So next what we're gonna do is lines. Right, so what I do as a person is I get a pole, another pole, another stick, another part, the part that they're gonna jump over, right? And I set it up. I put my calves to the back of the jump, and I just do my normal strides. I go one, two. That's supposed to be about one stride, but it will usually like take the long, and this will be about half of his stride. So one, two. That should be the second stride, but that knowing Abel is going to be one. So this is probably about a two stride for Abel because he likes to take those longer strides. The best thing to do once you've set up a line is to test the strides yourself. Because if you have a larger dog like I do, their strides are probably about equal to yours, generally speaking. I know with Abel, his strides are about the same as mine. So if I can do it in a two, he can do it in a two. If I can do it in a three, he can do it in a three. So on and so forth. Um, this is easier if you know how to ride horses. So I'm gonna do this now. That back one's a little bit taller, but it doesn't matter. You can make it smaller, you can make it taller. It doesn't really matter. So I'm gonna go ahead and jump this and count my strides as I go through it. This should be a two. I'm thinking a slow three. So it's a two. That's a normal two. We'll go. Usually what dogs will do when they see the line is they will do the second jump because they see another jump, they're like, oh, I'm gonna go do it. Especially if your dog likes to jump. Because when I first ju started jumping Abel, he was like all for it. He was like doing bounces and everything. He loved it. All right, come here. Whoa, one, two. And he did it in two. Perfect. Good boy. He doesn't really knock that often unless it's a larger jump. But if they do knock, um, what I do is I give positive reinforcement but the big goal that Abel wants, he wants this ball, right? I get positive reinforcement, I tell him good, and I have him go over it again without throwing the ball. And then if he still knocks it, then I rethink how the stridings are laid out. And if he's getting tired, then I'm like, okay, I'll just lower it. And that's usually what I end up doing. Usually he starts knocking when he gets tired. One, two, good, that was really good. Good, one, two, good. That's about it for the lines. The lines, usually the dogs will want to do the lines more so than just the jump because they, once they've gotten used to jumping, they're, they know what they're gonna get out of the jump. They know they're gonna get the positive reinforcement, the praise, everything. Um, just show you some of the stuff we've been working on. Good boy, Abel, you can go. Good boy. See, Lucy say hi. Good girl. Oh, she's so pretty. Let's do this. Hi, Snow. Did it that time, so I'm actually gonna give him the ball. But if he didn't do it, I'm not giving him the ball. Go. Good. Go. Good. Go. There you go. Good boy. Oh, he's hiding. Are you hiding? Go. Good. Good. Go. There you go. Good boy. And he picks up on that really, really fast. You could see he was looking for it, but he wasn't sure. Good. Yeah, yeah. Whoa, whoa. Good. Good. Good boy, Abel. Good boy. Good. Good, Abel. Good. And I can see he's tired. He's trotting through the line. Thank you all so much for watching. Abel, you're not facing the camera. Thanks so much for watching. Abel really appreciates it. Um, he likes showing off his jumping skills. And I had a feeling you guys probably wanted a video like this because in like all of my vlogs and day in the lives and stuff, I have Abel jumping and I'm sure you guys had questions about it, but that's how I taught him. 
you can teach your dogs to do it like that, or you can go see a trainer. I'm not a trainer. That's just how I taught Abel to do it. And it, it builds up his confidence and stuff. Boy, he's a good puppy. Hope you all enjoyed um, this video. It's a little bit different than what I usually do. Yes, Lucy. Like, comment, and subscribe. All that stuff. Right. And let me know what other videos you guys would like to do, or like to see me do. Especially during these weird times where like I can't go to the barn that often. The next video. Peace out.